So, in previous videos, we've covered a lot of the people that had a lot of success at uh, Glastonbury, but we haven't covered the people that fell on a lot of pain very early on. So, we're going to focus on the four competitors that had unfortunate mishaps, be it either accidents or mechanical failures, in the first stage. So, first off is poor old Michelle and her beloved George. Let's have a look at what happened. 300, crest, then 7 right down. Okay, I've got kilometer. white smoke coming out the back. What does that mean? One kilometre. Uh, just a bit of oil burning. No lights, no, keep going. No SOS lights, is not sure. far. Yep, yep. How far have we got to go? we got 300, uh, 300 now. No, 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 total. Total is 10. I'm blowing smoke. Yeah, okay, we've got half the stage to go yet. No, I've got to stop. Okay. How, how far to the SOS? How far? Let's keep going. Still two, three kilometres to go. No oil lights. No, you're all good. No oil lights, but the smoke's yeah, lessening, yeah. which means there's less oil in the engine. So unfortunately for Michelle, her day ended there at 11 kilometres into the first stage. Uh, unfortunately for her, it was a turbo line that leaked, sprayed a bunch of oil all over the engine bay, and um, just caused a giant amount of mess. But, moving on from Michelle, we are going to go to Gerard. Fusion 9 right continues, and tightens, 5 right, 30. 7 left, you got it, into 2 left up, Their day into ended 4 in pain left, on this right very course. Breast. Broken. Yeah. Put it here. I think Jesus. we've broken a um, steering arm. And the pain train continues. Next we have the probably worst off of all of the victims in this stage. Uh, it is none other than Mr. Tristan Carrigan and Lucky. A solid start and a very strong time going through the stage up until the very moment that he ended up rolling the poor little Hyundai XL. And this is all that remained of poor Lucky. So both Gerard and Tristan had a lot of fun trying to get their cars out of the forest right up until 7.30 at night when they rolled back into service park. Um, and that leaves, of course, just one last competitor who had a bit of ill fate on that first stage, and that is Mr. Brad Herford. <laughs> Brad started strong, but unfortunately he did not watch out for that tree. So that is the four victims of stage one. Uh, there were of course others, but uh, these were the four that didn't go any further than they did. They weren't even able to make the finish line of the first stage. Um, so that's their story of what happened. Uh, thanks for watching, and we'll catch you in the next video.